Today we are going to learn about horses! That's gonna be so cool! Most recently, six-year-old Scarlett asked for a horses video, but others have asked as well. And it's time! It's time because horses are so cool! You're gonna learn some amazing facts about horses and it's just gonna be awesome. Horses are large, domesticated mammals that are incredibly strong and smart. Do you know what the word domesticated means? It's a good question. What does the word domesticated mean? Domesticated means to be kept as a pet or on a farm. Now that doesn't mean that all horses are domesticated, but in general, horses are domesticated mammals. While horses in general have been domesticated, there are some horses that live in the wild. Horses that live in the wild are called feral horses. So where do horses live? That's a great question. Where can you find horses? It's incredible. Horses live all over the world. Yeah, all over the world you can find horses except places like, you know, Antarctica. You know, that's where the penguins live. Oh, little penguins, cute and small. You're not very big at all. At least compared to horses, right? <laughs> I mean, look at these little guys. So horses pretty much live all over the world. And this is incredible. There are about 60 million horses in the world, <laughs> okay? About 60 million horses in the world. Hey, just as a fun thing, sometime today, ask somebody, say, how many horses do you think there are in the world? And they're going to be like, I don't know, nobody knows that. And you'll say, hey, about 60 million horses. 60 million. Take that fact with you, put it in your pocket, you're going to love it. Now you have to check this out, it's so fascinating. Baby horses are called foals. Isn't that interesting? Baby horses are called foals. Foals are fascinating. Did you know they can stand shortly after birth and can even run just two hours after birth. Two hours after they're born, they can literally run. Now it's a very wobbly run, they can run shortly after being born. It's absolutely incredible. A young female horse is a filly. Yeah, isn't that a neat name? A young female horse is a filly. A young male horse is a colt. Yeah, they're called colts. After its first year, a horse is called a yearling. You know, that makes sense. After a horse has been around for a year, you call the horse a yearling. Once a horse is two years old, that horse no longer is considered a yearling. After a horse passes that two-year mark, that horse is still considered either a colt or a filly. And then, once a filly is older than four, she is called a mare. And once a colt is older than four, he is called a stallion. Let's summarize this with a simple chart. Ooh, the color gray, how fancy. So a young male horse, a colt, grows up to be a stallion, a grown-up male horse. A filly, a young female horse, grows up to be a mare, a grown-up female horse. With all of this growing, horses must eat a lot of food. Food must be really important to them. And food is, food is, but they might not eat the things that you might think they eat. Horses are herbivores. The word herbivore means an animal that eats plants. Horses are herbivores. 
Horses eat plants, though they can be trained to eat meat, and if they're in a circumstance where they have to eat meat for survival, they will, or if they're given meat over a regular period of time, they could be like, oh, this is food too, but they are herbivores. They are animals that naturally eat plants. They love plants. They could be so healthy and so strong without ever having to eat meat. Next, we want to talk about horse eyes. Yeah, this is a big eyeball of a horse. Their eyes are absolutely amazing. Of course, your eyes have to be uncovered for you to see. Oh, somebody get a somebody get a comb. The, the, the horse can't. The eyes are covered. The eyes are covered. This is like the worst picture for us to show. When we're talking about the eyes, we can't even see the eyes of this horse. A horse's eyes are amazing. They can see in just about every single direction except directly behind them and interestingly enough, directly in front of them. Which, if that doesn't sound impressive, it definitely should because they can literally see every single direction other than those. I mean, they can see just about everything. Their eyes are amazing. But seriously, kids, do not stand directly behind a horse. That is totally serious because the horse can't see there. And if that horse hears a sound that you make, that horse could actually kick you and hurt you. And the horse doesn't want to hurt you. So please do not stand directly behind a horse ever. Okay? Because horses are so strong. You could see all the muscles on this horse. This horse is so strong. That's why horses have been used for thousands and thousands of years to pull heavy things, including carriages with people in it, all kinds of heavy things. Horses are so strong and powerful. And this horse is just literally taking a nap, lying down and just sleeping because horses can fall asleep lying down or standing up. In fact, I bet this horse is napping. Ah, that's what it, I bet. I bet this horse is napping. You're napping through our video. <laughs> hey, did you know? Ponies are smaller types of horses. You may have been watching this video and thought, when are they going to bring up the ponies, right? I love the ponies. Even though a pony's body is a little different as far as size goes, a pony is very, very similar to any other horse, being incredibly strong and incredibly smart. Which brings us to our final fact. Horses are incredibly smart. They're incredibly smart. Horses are able to communicate with each other through sounds and facial expressions. And horses have amazing problem-solving skills that can get them out of all kinds of jams. And sometimes it can get them in trouble, too. What amazing animals horses are. Thanks for watching this homeschool pop video all about horses. 